Hi, I'm Jake, and this is Auto Week TV for Wednesday, April 18th. Audi and MG bust out new cars for the China Motor Show. The F1 race in New Jersey may get a later start. And we take a closer look at Charlie Sheen's favorite ride, the Fiat 500 Abarth. All right, let's get started. Audi's Quattro Performance Division has worked over the Q3 SUV to create the RS Q3. It debuts next week at the China Motor Show. The RS Q3 packs a 355 horsepower version of the turbo 5 cylinder engine found in Audi's TT RS. Power flows through a 7 speed dual clutch gearbox to all four wheels. Visual changes include a reworked grille and some body cladding. The RS Q3 is a concept today, but Europeans will get the chance to buy one sometime next year. Since we're talking about the Beijing show, MG Motor has revealed sketches of its latest concept car named the Icon. The concept previews a production model coming to the China market in 2014. Chinese automaker SAIC owns MG. The Icon takes styling cues from the legendary MGB GT sold in North America between 1965 and 1974. Power comes from a turbo 1.5 liter four cylinder engine, and gearbox choices will include a six speed manual and an optional six speed dual clutch unit. Formula One has another episode of big news from a small comment. F1 boss Bernie Ecclestone on Tuesday casually mentioned that the race set for Metro New York in 2013 could slip to 2014. Bernie didn't add any details. But the race organizers are a bit perplexed. They say everything is on schedule for the race to debut on time in June 2013. Okay, that's the news for now. We'll see you back here tomorrow, and of course, we want you to enjoy the drive. So, for inspiration, here's Mark Vaughn with a closer look at the Fiat 500 Abarth. Carl Abarth started out racing motorcycles in the 1920s and 30s, later turning to motorcycle sidecars because, inexplicably, he thought they were safer. After the war, he turned his attention to cars, building many successful racers. He founded the company that would become Cheese Italia. He raced cars next, and in order to support that interest, he founded Abarth and Company to make aftermarket speed parts for Fiats. The parts worked, and suddenly, Fiats were racing all over Italy. The new Fiat Abarth is the perfect successor to the post-war speedbox Fiats Carlo Abarth introduced to the world 60 years ago. Just like them, the new Fiat 500 Abarth is fun, fast, and, at $22,000 to start, relatively inexpensive. The new Abarth is faster and better in almost every aspect. There's a lot of stuff that's different about the Abarth. We've, um, obviously it starts with the engine, right? We've got the 1.4 liter turbo uh, with multi-air. That's a modification of the existing gas 1.4 that we put in the base Fiat 500 and uh, turbocharged to make 160 horsepower, 170 foot-pounds of torque. We've also done a lot of content on the chassis side. Uh, so we've, we've got an all-new rear axle relative to the, the base Fiat 500, reinforced for uh, extra durability, as well as uh, stiffened. So that, that's, that, along with some of the other things we've done, have really helped us to take some of the understeer out of the car and, uh, and make it a really engaging, neutral, fun car to drive on the racetrack. Uh, we've also got some more content up front. Uh, we've got a, a cast lower control arm as opposed to the stamp machine one on the base Fiat 500. We've got more negative front camber. Uh, we've got a very aggressive three season performance tire. Uh, we've got a nice aggressive 11.1 uh, inch front brake rotor as well as semi-metallic uh, really track racing uh, uh, brake pad compound. So it's, it's a pretty serious car for, for what we're doing here today. What a great time to be in the market for an inexpensive sporty car. The Abarth's starting price is within a few thousand of other great fun cars like several of the Minis, the Volkswagen GTI, and even the Scion FRS and Subaru BRZ. But none of those cars have the Italian flair that only a Fiat Abarth can give. Ciao. Catch all the latest auto enthusiast news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.